When I was born, I had one incredible stroke of luck. And I was born a Maori in this country, and I have a relationship with all the mountains and the rivers and the trees and the people of this country. I used to do a lot of landscapes um, because I was learning about the land and, and just uh, loving the land and what I saw in front of me. Then it uh, changed and evolved when I started um, moving much more internationally and saying I've got to actually get more out of my painting, more of myself and more of my history. When I was in Africa, Africans say it looks a little bit African, uh, and American Indians say it looks American Indian, and Maori say it looks Maori, and and uh, and that's good because it's really um, it's part of all of that because uh, the Africans and the American Indians um, we all look at the same sun and moon and stars, and and uh, that's the commonalities we have. We're in a state now where you can't ignore the rest of the world. It's it's in our lounge every day, every night. Uh, and you've got to say, well, hold on, how do we hold on to what's really dear to us, but at the same time share and respect what's dear to other people and other nations? And that requires learning and expanding your own uh, area of knowledge and your viewpoint of life. A lot of my paintings where I have faces like this are really landscapes. And that's why I have that flat area on the top. Uh, what I put on the side there is not so much moko, but the reflection of the light on the face. Yeah, so I haven't, I've deliberately gone away from the detail of the moko and I've made it into an energy charge because when you get into uh, detailing moko on a face like this, you find the moko tends to distract, become something else. I then go to a three-dimensional image and I make the same statement. So I do both sculptural pieces like this as well as masks. I understand that I'm part of a generation of, of evolution of a million years or so. And the big secret about creating art is not to be afraid of what's inside of you, but to understand it. You have to understand it and you control it and you project it on into your art or whether your art is poetry or writing or dance or singing, you project it into that. 